wouldn't it be great if that moved on its own? Well, I'm going to try and do it. To do that, I will need this, this, and this. Or maybe that as well. Okay, first things first, we're going to get rid of that. And that. Put that and that there. And that. And we're going to start with this. And that. Okay, to get this into there, there's a few issues. This needs to go. So, let's do this. So we've taken out the engine and put that aside because we don't need that anymore. Okay, that's the receiver bit done. So I'll take that and put that out of the way. Next, so a little problem with this is that is slightly too big for this, and this battery pack will only just fit that. So if I take this off this off and then I remove this oh, there we go Put that to the side it's still not gonna fit in because it's not enough room so then I'm gonna have to remove this bit and this bit and this bit I can pop it in there and put these back on and it works, it's just a little bit ugly. So we'll do it like that first. Now we need to get that onto there. These are your regular train wheels. So I'm going to take that off. But it's actually brick built, so we have to lose a few of these pieces. Oh, that battery's just fallen out. Just pop it back in. We're going to keep this. And now we have to figure out how to connect that to there. So unfortunately, we need an extra piece. Right, let's have a look. Where can I get a Technic plate? There we go. So we can pop that on there. This is the simplest form of doing it on there and it works it just it's a little bit ugly bring back the train we can connect the receiver to the battery and the engine so to speak which is the wheels to the receiver and we do have a working train however it it works but It's very ugly. I mean, that'll connect on there to a certain extent. I'll push all the wires into there. And that'll connect on there.
but it's just not, it's not great. It doesn't look very good. So first things first, I want to make this look better. It's too high, it doesn't clip on properly, it's not going to sit on the rails very good, it just needs to be reworked. So let's go. I'm going to set the carriage aside. Disconnect the engine, disconnect the base. I'm going to start with this. This needs a bit of reworking to make it work. Let's pop this aside. And then all that over there as well. Excellent. So, first things first, remove the panel, remove these two pins. And we're going to work on this. If we bring back this, as we said, it's too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so that it looks like it's better. Okay. Okay, right. Not all the leases for that to clip onto there. Now you can see it's a lot better. The lines are better. Just gonna. The battery is nearly hidden. Just gonna build up the sides a little bit. And from that side, you can't see the battery anymore. There you go. Oh, I've got one thing. Now this engine bit does have these bits here where you can put the connector on there. And there. Pop that back on. Pop it back on. And it's there. Okay. Bring back the engine. Put that bit to the receiver. Bit to the battery box. Let's tuck these wires in there as much as we can. And as you can see, it lines up a lot better than what it did. Push all those in there. And hopefully, when we turn that on, get the remote control again. Yay! 